Hello everyone, this is Pink Floyd 27 from World of Warships Legends Division 5, and here we are on our King George V on one of my personal favorite maps, Two Brothers. Uh, probably one of the most unique maps in the game based on its layout. And basically this game is going to be about, well first of all I'm going to tell you my builds, and then we're going to be dealing with getting pinched. Basically you have enemy ships on both sides of you closing in. So, for this spawn, of all four spawns, this is probably my favorite. Uh, you get this island here that you can hide behind, especially in a cruiser. It can be deadly. In battleships, you can use it to take cover. Whereas the enemy team, their spawn, as we'll see in a moment, they don't really get much cover unless they turn left. And if you turn left, then you won't really be able to shoot at the enemy. So, we have the fortunate spawn. And we're going to hug up to this island here, just the right side. Broadside Pensacola. We have HE loaded. It's basically my loadout uh, that I'm using. is uh, Use Madden, and I got the um, basically full brawler builds uh, with as much reload and traverse speed as I can. And I use Henry Hyde and Smith as my inspirations. So we got like 66,000 66, HP with like five heals. Basically all out tank as much HP as we can. Unfortunately we don't get a Citadel on the Pensacola even though he is broadside. Uh, these British battleships at long range can be yeah, they give and take with their dispersion. We're gonna shoot some more at Pensacola just asking for it and we get the exact same result we did the first time unfortunately no citadel pretty much this, the whole team on this side is broadside to us which is good but unfortunately we lose my buddy and another destroyer goes down so we're already down two destroyers and the game basically started I would say that generally three out of four times you're not going to win that game you're down two destroyers, but we do get him back with taking out the Lagala Senior. Pensacola beaches. Uh, he's kind of at an awkward angle, so we're going to take some shots at the Miyoko, who's also broadside. Dispersion again, not the best right now. Get that third turret on the Pensacola. Uh, now we've, e we've evened out the playing fields for ships, so that's a good sign. We also got a battleship pushing. Uh, we switched to HE because one of their destroyers went through the middle, which you'll see a lot on this map with really any ship, and he's in our base. We also got a destroyer coming at us, the Hatsuheru, going on a, a basically a suicide torp run. I would never recommend this, by the way, for any destroyer players. Because if the battleship player knows what they're doing, then this will happen. So we take care of the destroyer. Still, we we don't look at the uh, scoreboard, but it's in the destroyer in the base is an Akatsuki, which can pretty much death strike any battleship. So this is the part where we're getting pinched. We got ships on both sides. We're on fire. We got battleships pushing, cruisers, destroyers. We lose our another destroyer, and that's actually we're now out of destroyers. So here's the Akatsuki's torps. We're gonna weave through them fairly easily. Uh, we got a Leander pushing, similar to the uh, that first destroyer. Is it a Hatsuharu? Um, and again, I just I would never recommend this, uh, really in any ship, just to be this aggressive as what the Leander's doing right now. We got a Scores here. I uh, I don't know if he used his radar, or he doesn't want to radar the Akatsuki yet. But either way, we're not going to be taking any torps from him anytime soon. Uh, we, my, the lander's getting closer. My secondaries are going off, so we're just getting pinched more and more here. Uh, Akatsuki launches a full rack of torps again. But he will miss, and it looks like he either gets proc spotted or radared or sonared. And we're going to get our main guns on him. 
with HE loaded for the destroyer. We get 110. And we get a second. Basically let the guys clean up the destroyer. And or my secondaries actually got the destroyer. Uh, that was pretty cool. So now we're going to switch to AP for the cruiser who refuses to back down. Basically torping, shooting, zigzagging as much as he can. Now he's not doing a bad job, but the it's the I mean it's not a great plan to start with. Let's we're going to swing all our guns around here. Full AP salvo coming up. And Mr. Leander might regret this in just a second. <laughs> we don't get a citadel, but we get a bunch of pens and overpens, which is basically at least a citadel. And the rest of the guys clean him up. And now we've leveled out the playing field, four ships apiece. That Colorado, which is uh, their Colorado up north, is engaged with our Fuso. So, uh, they'll kind of, uh, looks like the Colorado is low enough, the Fuso can get him. Leander Torps, not going to catch me. So we've got two cruisers and a battleship over here that spawn there. And I believe the Fuso gets into their base and does take out the Colorado, which will give us a big helping hand for the rest of us down south in the base. Spotted. Queen Elizabeth. All these cruisers will be pushing, by the way. And they're basically going to test their luck again. Uh, <laughs> they're still broadside, and of course, if you remember, I, I, I couldn't make them pay. So here, here you couldn't ask for a better angle from the Mayoko with AP. But again, we can't get the Citadel. We get that third turret involved. Not the best dispersion, but we get the Citadel, 10,500. Uh, again, I'm on a uh, more of an HE build. And a Pensacola is just doing his thing again. He doesn't understand that uh, I can Citadel him. Or maybe he does and he doesn't care. So we miss Pensacola yet again, but our third turret has proven itself this game. And we get a citadel there. So it's now four ships versus two. That Fuso got that Colorado, which is what I predicted. Colorado just didn't have the health. And the Pensacola gets finished, so it's just this Queen Elizabeth. So that's basically the whole gist of it uh, for battleship players, um, especially if you're using a brawler build like on this King George it can come in handy because you got the traverse speed you got the reload time I think mine's 21.9 yeah it's 21.9 firing range is only 14.8 kilometers but in this case you don't really care about long distance range overall 87 artillery and and remember we got the uh, five heels with the Madden builds Uh, and we're just going to do HE and AP as much as we can. Stack up a few medals, pick up a high caliber and a confederate. Which gives us four medals for the game. And now we're going to throw some HE at him too. Get as many pens and fires as we can. Couldn't have asked for more. A fire and six pens. We switch back to AP, so I believe this is the last shot. I'm going to let the, the cruisers kind of take him down because I want this last kill. It may be cheeky, but hey, I did most of the work this game, as you'll see in a moment. And I believe this is the salo that finishes him, if I'm not mistaken. But either way, we've won this, clearly. There we go, get the shot off. And we're going to finish at around 100k, 4 medals, and you'll see we'll be top of the board. Uh, and that's it. Yep. Thanks for watching, everyone.
appreciate you tuning in, and um, I'll see you next time. Peace.